This is a house that the owners designed and installed themselves. And they contacted me because they're unhappy with the performance of a lot of the plants. They say they can't even dig in the soil. It's really hard soil. And so they want to improve the soil. They want to improve the performance of the lawn. You can see this front lawn doesn't look too good and the back lawn has good spots and bad spots. So in that situation, what would I apply? What would I recommend you apply to get the most value, for it to be the most convenient, and to get as fast a result as possible? Chip wanted to be a part of this because he's looking great today. He got groomed yesterday, really in good form um, at the top of his game. For this garden in the front, I applied initially 12 pounds of blend, which is our combination product with three of our dry products in it, and I applied 18 pounds of blend in the back. And that, I went over the lawn and the shrubs and everything. So that's my first application. And I'll just throw it on top of the ground in the shrub areas. And this would really be the easiest way. You could do it with the Whirly Bird uh, spreader also. Uh, I usually just do it by hand because it's easier. So this is a very kind of a heavy clay soil that they have a hard time digging in. We're gonna focus mo uh, a lot of the blend application around the plants. You can see these box boxwoods are chlorotic. And so this should improve that. The daylilies look reasonably okay, but not great. And so we will kind of put it everywhere with a focus uh, over the root zones of the plants. I'm trying to change everything about this soil so that they can dig in the soil, so they no longer have hard, impenetrable soil. And that's only going to happen by infusing it with beneficial life of all kinds. Very similar to what a good quality compost would do. That process is not fast, as you can imagine. We're using a natural process here, really, through the soil food web. And to engage the soil food web and have it do what it does, which is the lowest forms of microbes like bacteria start feeding on products in the soil and then larger life forms feed on the bacteria and it goes into larger and larger life forms and then you have earthworms feeding on a lot of the microbes. And as you can tell, that's a time consuming process. So in a little more than a month, it's working right now. That's going on under this mulch but it's not real obvious at this point. We'll start to see some slight difference in plant performance, and then in terms of actually impacting the ability to dig in it, it's probably gonna take another month or two, and as time goes on, these improvements build on themselves. We'll continue a couple more applications. So tune in as time goes by. We'll give you updates on this garden and show how the soil continues to improve and how that manifests itself in the look of the plants and the look of the garden in general. I'm going to come back into here. They have a beautiful bougainvillea that is doing well without our improvements, but a lot of other plants could use some help. One of the biggest improvements is in pots, really great for pots. The other thing we did is we put mulch right over the top of our products. That protects the soil. Our products work better when it has a layer of mulch. It doesn't have to be the same kind of mulch we used. You can see the owners spread their own. It's a messy, kind of hot, time-consuming process, but it's not a difficult process. If you want a fast reaction in terms of green and lush growth, then you should probably supplement it with our Nourish Biosol. There is a little Nourish Biosol in this, but what I'm gonna do, because we're trying to get this to respond quickly, is we're gonna use blend, and then we're gonna use Nourish Biosol. So the lawn, we're able to make it look like all kinds of good things are happening very quickly. And the way to cause a quick change in the look of the lawn is with macronutrients. Lawn loves nitrogen and sometimes phosphorus and potassium and even micronutrients. And our product, Nourish Biosol, has a lot of macronutrients in it. I got an additional six pounds of Nourish Biosol and I put that in the front lawn only 
and I got an additional 12 pounds of Nourish Biosol and I put that on the back lawn only. Nourish Biosol has a lot of organic nitrogen in it. Parts of it release pretty quickly and then parts of it release over a long period. But the neat thing about it is in addition to feeding the lawn and making it green quickly, it doesn't do it like like synthetic fertilizer which releases all right away and can leach right through. This releases slowly. It feeds lawn immediately but the really neat thing about it and what makes it different than almost any other product that you could feed a lawn with is while it's feeding the lawn it's improving everything about the soil. It's attracting beneficial microbes of all kinds and it's building soil life and if you build soil life you're going to have a lawn with a lot deeper roots that needs less watering that can resist and prevent weeds better. So the improvements in the lawn are very obvious and those improvements will continue in the lawn because of how our products work. If you want just a nice normal green, you could probably use it just twice a year. If you want it to be greener than anyone else on this block, then you might have to go about every six weeks or so. So a traditional way of treating soil and treating plants is you can do a soil analysis, you can do a leaf analysis, and you find out either what the soil is low in or what the plant is low in. It might be low in zinc or something like that, and then you apply that. That's completely different than what we're doing here. What we know is that healthy soil can solve all deficiencies. We're good with knowing if there's deficiencies, but our treatment's probably going to be the same regardless of what those deficiencies are. A lot of times plants will have an iron deficiency, but what's interesting is usually it's not because there's not iron in the soil. Usually if you test the soil, there's plenty of iron in the soil. It's because for one reason or another, usually another, the iron is locked up in the soil and the plants can't take it up. So the practice of putting iron on is usually for not because usually it doesn't change anything. No point in continuing to apply synthetic products if the soil can't uptake them. Healthy soil is soil that allows plants to uptake all the nutrients it needs in order to be at its best health. I used Penetrate Liquid Biotiller everywhere, on the lawn, over the top of the blend and the Nourish Biosol, and in the shrubs over the top of the blend. Penetrate Liquid Biotiller is a combination of beneficial bacteria and food for the bacteria, really good food like saponin and kelp and liquid humic acid and lots of nutrients that soil likes. So it comes in two containers, one has all the food which is a really dark, nice, rich color, and then one has just the bacteria. We keep them separate because we don't want the bacteria to eat the food until it gets in the soil or temporarily it'll be in the spray tank. So we'll put all of this food in there and we'll use the bacteria solution here to make sure we get all of the good stuff into the spray tank. So at this rate is about eight. Um, eight ounces per thousand square feet. I've got eight ounces in each of these boxes, four ounces in each container. It doesn't matter how much water you use. You could use 100 gallons with this or you could use half a gallon. We just want to get it spread. I like to use a little more water and that way, you know, I don't run out of solution. I can go over it a few times. So the, the most common way that you would apply out of a spray tank like this, this is a backpack sprayer that holds four gallons is, you can see, with that nozzle. And this takes quite a while. So what I usually do is I, I take off the nozzle and I just kind of fling this stuff around. And then, then when you water it in, you know, it'll spread out in the, in the lawn. So this is how I apply it very quickly over a lawn or over shrubs. One thing that's been real effective for me, let's say this lawn looked a lot better, but we had a part that always looked dry. I, I go ahead and use the nozzle and I spray a concentrated amount right in the dry spot. And that's really effective at 
changing that soil into a much more water retentive soil. And so here everything looks kind of equally bad. So we're, we're just going to fling it around. So now let's go to the back and do the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna let Chip run around back here. Yeah, Chip likes it in the back better. He doesn't have to follow along with me. So we're gonna do all the shrubs in the containers and in the ground. A lot of their shrubs are doing fine. They've got a drip system that they installed. Where did Chip go? Oh, he's sitting on the patio. So water is the key, it's just that there's no need to do it right away unless you're in a hurry and you want to activate it right away, then go ahead and water it right away. How many times do I get asked that? Every day. When I combine all four products is when we get the fastest results. This is a small garden, so it's pretty affordable to use all four products. Sometimes people will contact me with 20,000 square foot yards and all four products are expensive to use. So we'll target, maybe on the lawn, we'll use only Nourish Biosol and spray over that with Penetrate. Another really effective way is we could use only Optimize because Optimize is the least expensive because it's applied at a very low rate. So we could use only Optimize and allow the Optimize to change the soil over a three or four year period and you'll get eventually the same result. It'll just take a lot longer. If you want to use these products yourself, the easiest way to buy them is on our website at johnandbobs.com and they'll be delivered right to your doorstep. You don't have to do a thing. Start addressing the most important part of gardening and landscaping, soil quality. If there's life in the soil, you'll start to have a system that works naturally and with a certain amount of self-sufficiency and that's what we're after, not a gardening paradigm where we have to always be checking the soil and applying this little thing and that little thing. That's not a lot of fun and quite a bit of work. It makes a lot more sense to just be encouraging the health of the soil and by doing that you'll be addressing all deficiencies.